part of the story, we bring in Larry Spruill, who joins us live with more. Larry. Well, Devin and Kimberly, testing is just one of the many things Mayor Duggan talked about in today's news conference. He also mentioned that it should get easier for people to get tested in the next couple of weeks. But he did mention that the coronavirus is hitting the African-American community the hardest. And it's a conversation he wanted to have now. What uh, the coronavirus is doing is exacerbating the racial health gap that has existed in this country uh, for a very long time. It's a conversation Mayor Duggan says has to be on the forefront when dealing with the coronavirus, especially among African Americans here in Metro Detroit. The life expectancy of African Americans is shorter than it is of Caucasians. That chronic disease, whether it's hypertension, whether it's diabetes, whether it's asthma, uh, whether it's heart disease, whether it's chronic kidney disease, is much higher in the African-American community. We had uh, 26 more deaths reported today. 26 more of our neighbors, somebody's mother or father, son or daughter. Wednesday, Mayor Mike Duggan released the latest numbers when it comes to the coronavirus deaths here in Metro Detroit. Duggan says the numbers are alarming, but there's improvement. We are seeing the line, the curve, beginning to flatten out. That's why he's stressing more and more people to get tested. It is now much easier for doctors in southeastern Michigan to prescribe a test. And this is going to be our goal. I want every single person in the city of Detroit who's showing symptoms to get tested right away. And we have been talking a lot about the TCF Center opening up. Mayor Duggan says that should happen later on this week. 25 beds will be added on Friday, 25 more beds on Saturday. We are live in Detroit tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Uh, uh, Larry, uh, the mayor uh, mentioned a lot. He hit on a lot of topics at today's news conference and also addressed testing workers at nursing homes. Yeah, Devin, so he says that will start late t that will start tonight where workers at these nursing homes will be tested. He did mention that the testing swabs will be done by volunteers at Wayne State University. They should get those results coming up sometime this week. Yeah. Devin? All right, Larry. Well, the